they put much down on of this and uh, oriented the walls, placed the slab, and even uh, did the doors and the windows. Basically, what I want to do right now, I want to go ahead and just uh, place the ring beam on this all round. Uh, place the beam for going ahead and doing the slab. So, in order to place the beam, let me just go back to my ground floor. So, once I'm at the ground floor, I'll just go right over here and come to this beam too and just double click it so that I can be able to set it to its size in terms of uh, what I want to work with. So, I'm going to do a thickness of 200 and a height of uh, 450. So, that's basically what my beam is and the height of 450. In terms of uh, it can come if at project zero and we'll set it at a project of uh, we are we are working with 2500 so 2500 plus this height so should be around 2450 now 2950 so should be at a level of 2950 so from 2950 this reference axis I can come and shift it and move it to this point and then uh, you can also go to the segment point where you can vary its model and you can use different textures on it but for now I just want to talk with it the way it is then I let the wrong come and edit it, uh, its texture and then you can go ahead and just press ok and just go ahead and just start placing my beam so I can come and start on this side this beam will be running all the way up to that point let me just drag this so I'm holding my shift button selecting this beam and I'm dragging it to this particular node over here so that I have something like that I can also do another beam from this point all the way to this point over here also do notice that there, are, there is an arc opening over here that I'm going to do Later on, so from there I can come just over here and do another one, another beam. Do this one all the way like that. Up to that point, and then you can do this other one, very long beam from this end all the way to this other end. Something like that. Also, do have this other beam, but it's running all the way. Some point like that, and from this point to that point, and this one from this point, on the way to that point, from this point, on the way to that point, and then we do have this other beam over here. And it's running from this point all the way to that point then from this point all the way to the end of this Do you notice that um, I will not, I'm not going to cross my beam of uh, this chimney because I am later on going to wear the bit of this chimney. And so, okay, I can just go ahead and okay that still. So, from this point, all the way to the screen that I have my chimney about there. And then, do another one from this point up to that point and then I do have another beam over here from this point and it's crossing all the way to that point you can do this one again this one from this one and just you can be having it crossing like that all the way to that point and then this one from this point And 
this point as I head to cross this one down to that point so I guess something like that we also do have another beam over here and work with this sort of side so something like that Go ahead and do the other one for this point. To that point, and then do this other one. So, in terms of uh, the reinforcement bars that you should use for this beam, uh, basically, one that you need to do. And maybe if you're the one who is going to implement this project or if you can be able to produce the structural plan, just work with uh, the details that have been indicated by the structural engineer and find that mostly, most of the time, maybe the structural engineer that has a device that you use uh, maybe four details on these uh, beams and uh, you do a ring of uh, maybe using the eight and such so we just need to follow them just need to follow the instructions of the structural drawing but in our case we only we are only interested in the in this architectural drawing so from there where we have the beam i think uh, that's pretty much it that's everything Go to 3D just to view this, yeah, and that's where we are at right now. So we can just repeat this all the way like that. Then I can just go ahead and do the slab of this top side of this. And just go ahead and do the slab a bit. But we do have a partition over here that has the that I'm doing a roof over here but what I want to do next I want to go ahead and just uh, place the axe on these balconies this entry porch balconies so I'll just go back to my ground floor but before I do that I need to go ahead and place columns over here so I'll just go to this column to the back here and, but um, instead of using this one let me just go to my object tool and use uh, different types of columns so I'll come to this object too double click it once I've clicked it I'll just come to this tab over here and search uh, columns because I'm looking for certain types of columns that have uh, some form of moldings like this one you know, we have different columns that can use over here if you have this one architectural column the column but in my case, I just uh, want to use this one, the column Doric. So I'll set it to project uh, zero. I'll just set it to project zero. And then in terms of its uh, width thickness, I can just work with 450. In terms of it, its height, I can work something like. Uh, you notice that uh, our wall was at a height of 2,500. So I can work with something like 2,500. It just press on, uh, just press OK. So I can just come to 3D bit of it and study how. So I can just a bit it. Let's go to ground floor. Just place a column right over there. Just hold on to the shift button so that I can drag it. Control D. Just place it right over there. And then Control D plus so that I can drag another copy of it right over there. Then I can just go ahead now and uh, select both of them. Right click, move, drag multiple copy. And drag multiple copies and then just drag it all the way to the edge point right over there. You can 
need that to skip now. So I'll just go now. Hmm. I'll get my daughter. I will just want uh, basically what I'm trying to do. Let me show you guys. And this is my 3D. I want to go ahead and just place opening. Openings at this point, but uh, this opening, so this uh, entry porch, I need to do some form of axe on these openings and there's some little form of modelings just to be able to improve on the appearance of my plan. I'll just go ahead, go to this door tool, double click it and search for empty. So I'm looking for an empty door and I'm looking for an empty triangle, rectangular door. It's empty rectangular to go home. Driven positioning you can do it at a distance of maybe 5,000 is being a kilometer so 4,000 4,000 then uh, at a height of uh, 2,100 yeah you can work with 2,100 mm. yeah 2,100 press ok then we just come and just place it somewhere like that let with this shift button just drag this to that point and this other one to this other point whatever there and then you go ahead and uh, go to the to, the, to this window too this window too double click it and look for the ellipse door Give it time as it searches. Okay, I'm not going to find this in stuff. Let me search for my, my network. So well, let me just search empty the empty window. Sorry, so on this empty window, we have this act stuff. I want to work with this ellipse type of opening. Go to this prevent positioning. I want to begin to it for the window to begin at a level of zero so and then its height I want it to be at a height of uh, of 2250 and then just press ok and go to this point just place a ellipse window right over there you just need to do some dragging on this point like that now from there I need go to I need to go back to my door tool and then I just go back to my rectangular door but this time round I need to be at a height of 2500 then just press OK. Which I don't, yeah, can I? So I can just press OK. This time around, I should let the red its length. Let me open something like 2000 first. So that can just vary it. Let's hold on to this shift button. Select this window and just drag this to point like that similarly to this one drag it to a point like that then can just go to 3d try to view this so yeah that's what you have it doesn't look that appealing let's just uh, do some working on it go to this ground floor uh, select this window Instead of working it at uh, 2500, I can have it at a level of 2400. 2400. And then just press OK. To 3D. Yeah, that's what you have over there. So I need to improve on this uh, arc over here. Control T. Instead of uh, working it at 2250, let's see if I work with it at 23. 2300 so 
so at a level of 2300 this kind of still need to improve in this then we go state control T let me see if I work with the 2400 also the 2400 doesn't really quit so we have that as that we just go to the ground floor and then I'll select this main modality instead of 24 let me up to 24 50 now 24 50 press ok go to 3d yeah i can work with that at the moment I can go back to this ground floor and try to drag this a little bit Similarly to this one, let's drag it a little bit about that. And that when I come to 3D. Okay, yes, and then not that sort. So let me just put this. Yeah, that's pretty much what we have. And just go back to this ground floor. And uh, I want to see the level where we have this window at. So we have this window at a level of 2100. So I need to place these columns. And then to the shift button. And just to uh, Select all my columns, these two columns with Ctrl T. Put it at a level of uh, 20. Instead of 2500, you know, 2100 instead. Just press OK. And when you go to 3D, this is what we have over here. Just go back to ground floor. Select this window, still. And drag it this time to that end and this other node just drag it from this node to that end and go to 3d this is what we have over here and just go ahead and just put to this i just need to create uh, this the same kind of arc on this other side on this other side so i'll just go back to my ground floor We started by using an empty door, so I get my empty door over here. And then uh, I started this one at a level of 2100. Press OK. And work it like that. I'll enter the shift button, I select this window and just basically drag it from this point to that point and this one from this point and I to almost that point so from there I just need to do the ellipse down the ellipse uh, window just hold on to my alt button see if you can be able to use this same window I need to use this one actually it's a window so I'll just use this one and just open it like that similarly to this one just use this button when I go to 3D that can be able just go ahead and just bit this so you're starting with that sort which I think you can pretty much work with you can now go to to this other side and just do the same go ahead use my alt tool alt and then go ahead and just place this right over here
let's see let's see let's see I need 
you pull all of this and then you serve the pitch copy surface and all of it and then press ok then you go to 3d that's what you have also need to do something different on this one go to this ground floor select this this window over here is to just extend it and go to that point go to 3d so this is what you have also vary the texture of these columns so that will solve uh, the same thing pitch copy on them so just go ahead hold into my shift button select these columns go to ctrl t and then in terms of model allow this surface and then just use the pitch copy pitch 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 instead of working with this uh, green paint on it I can decide to work this uh, planet section so we are using uh, pen uh, 13 and 90 mostly it's 90 on it 13 and 65 so in this one that's on the shift button select the same same columns again Good control T instead of using uh, 29, I'm going to use 90. And so, and just use 99 of them. Let's press OK. And then, yeah, that's how this entry page of ours looks like. So, from there, I can go ahead and orbit and edit the other balcony so I'll just go back to my front view before I do that let me just edit this other side so I need to do something with this other one go back to this ground floor select this down drag it from there to that point like that so I need to do the same on this one so I'll just hold on to this alt button select uh, this door and then just go to this point that I can vary its, uh, its height I can work with 1000 and then with 1000 first of all I should have started by placing the columns on this so just hold on to this alt button that I can select this column use this same 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 column just hold on to this then control D just drag it up to that point so shift control D control D again so that it set the very edge like that and then just hold on to this shift control D another copy D plus so and then we can just drag it from that point you can drag it at a distance of 450 enter and just basically select this two and then control D D plus drag it from there up to this point over here so yeah, to that point over there so I'll just need to do this kind of openings and just go to this alt button go back to this door instead of saying 5500 to use 2000 and then just oh, okay 200 so let's use 1000 then 
you can just come go ahead and place it right over here I don't take the shift button drag this from this edge to this other edge this edge to this other edge so from there you can open this other one this window and this television this you can use 2000 
become to 3D. Yeah, we can go with that still. So we have some more of that sort. We just need to do the same for this other side. We just go ahead and use this technique to take this line. We just need to mark on the point of this. this one. I just need to do a replica of this, so I can just do it to that point. And then this other one. I'll send you this other one from this point. To that point. Now I'll land this Alt button, select this window, and just place it right about there. You can go hold up this Alt button. And then just select uh, the same thing, just place it uh, right about there, and then you can just hold on to this. Uh, go back to this design, and to this design, we go back to this dot. Uh, you can work with the height of now 2100, press OK, and then. Uh, can do this one all right over here. And do the shift. That's pretty much it. I'm going to 3D. We need to have something of that sort. This side. Yeah, so yeah, something, something like that. Can go back to my ground floor and just edit this once So on this one, that this one I need to split. So that's all on the shift button. Click on that split tab and then just basically go ahead and just split this. So that you have something like that. And then I can be able to select this other ones again. So once I've selected this one, go to Ctrl T. Enable on these services. And remember we are working with pitch pitch copy one. So yeah, work with it for home and then from there I can go to 3D. I just need now to do the same for these beams that you have over here. So holding the shift button. Just click on this beam and this beam is on okay. Let me first split this beam. So once I highlight the beam, I press the split tool and then just basically go ahead and just cut it. Then I can be able to select all these beams and just go ahead and just edit them and control T. Go back to segment, enable all these 
surfaces and then use a pitch copy and now I'm going to press ok go to 3d and that's what we have over there so I know at the moment uh, this video is taking it's become quite long so I can stop at this point let me just finish with this other side over here so that I can be done with these uh, entry watches. So I'll go back to ground floor. Just go back to ground floor. I still need to use the same, same column, so I'll into the salt button, select that column. We do have another balcony over here. Just go ahead and place this column over there. Right over there, hold into this shift, then control D. Then control D. And then uh, Alt. So shift, control D, D plus. And then drag another copy to a distance of 450. Let's press it like that. And then uh, this other one. Control D, D plus. And then just drag another copy in this direction. window so hold into that alt button just go ahead and just place that one right over there we we'll go for this other one empty the so as you can see I've really tried to maintain the wall the doors the same 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 height for all of them to be uniform so that uh when doing the form work for this axe, it's actually easy. So that's what I've, I've tried to maintain. That's why I'm using the same, same, same setting on all of them. So this one, we add it at 2100. Just press OK. other sides so let's talk with 1000 
ترى أنا كان مثل جدات نعمل سيفين there is need for us to bury it slender we can act this on 800 800 and then just 800 and just place it somewhere like that but what I do know is that I need to drop this a little bit inside similarly for this a little bit inside that we just get 3d just uh, a bit this so you have something like that this part is actually very small mm. I can work with that one but go to the screen to see how I can be able to edit this So I can just go back to my ground floor and then the rest and then I need to do this this door. You really need to be very accurate. So that I'm gonna put my treaty. something like that so this basically all the doors all the windows let me see and this I don't have to just try to that end so that uh, this element can actually disappear that was there so that's what we have. I just need to do the change of the of the textures of these ones and the beam. So that's what the skeleton want to do right now. So we'll just go to this beam and work with the beams first. Surfaces and use P2. Copy one, turn all of them, press OK, and then these two beams over here. I need for the, more, for the two of them to intersect at this end. with all of this is actually been able to select the walls over here I can go let me see you can just select them in from 3d okay let me just go back to ground floor you can still select them from this point so
chain. Just to write it down. We'll tap in. Let me see if it can be able to select it from this 3D. So, yeah, let's repeat this. Let's escape. Yeah, then you can just repeat this. Then you can go to Control T. Go to um, pitch copy. You don't necessarily need to use pitch copy, you can decide to use a different uh, texture, create another color. You can use maybe pale jade, or even glossy white, or even cut BM yellow, whichever it is that you feel uh, does suit you. Then you can just do it this. You need to send something over here. Let's go back to the screen flow. And that over here that I'm looking for. Yeah, this window. The one that I'm looking for. And I need to drag it from this end. To that very end. To the new bit. To cross something like that. And then come to 3D. Something like that, so, so basically, guys, this is what we had for these pouches. So, next, what I would uh, want to do is I would do uh, what I will do uh, just go ahead and do the slab for this. So yeah, I'm not going to do it. So you see now. This other one over here. I'm just going to try to do this. So, but let me just stop at this point. The video is becoming very long. So that's basically what I have covered in this video. Placing this uh, axe at this balconies it's actually a time consuming task that's why uh, in order to come up with something special i have to do it so the next thing i'm going to do a cover slab on this and then the roofing of this there's a roof that, that is on this balcony over here and then uh, we can go to the other floor so that's the end of this video thank you guys for watching